Welcome back, welcome back. So since we've done audio, I think the next sensible thing to do would be to add video to the website. Now, because my website is all about Rockstar and GTA, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a video I've created on my PlayStation and I'm going to also add a URL to a YouTube video. So I'll have one leading to YouTube, which is an external link. And I'll also have a very tiny file on the website that will just play just like a normal video would. So to do that, I'm going to, when you go onto YouTube, let's say you have a website that you're getting the video from. It might be similar to YouTube, but you don't just copy the link straight away. Um, YouTube has found a way to give in, um, to give you the entire HTML stuff you need. So typically speaking, you scroll down, you go down to share on your video, you click on where it says embed, and this is what you're going to want to copy. I know the good thing about this, you can tell it where you actually want it to start and it will generate the HTML code for you. So it makes your life very, very easy. Um, show player controls, 100%. Enable privacy enhance mode. Don't even know what that is. I'm going to leave it as it is. I don't think I need anything else. Make sure everything is highlighted. Right click, click copy. Now I'm going to go back to my Dreamweaver now, which is over here. And I know I want it to be here. So what I'm going to do is simply remove this text here because I just put it there as placeholder text so I could see where I needed to paste it. And I'm going to paste this. Now you can right click and click paste, but I'm going to use a shortcut, which is control, CTRL and V for Victor. Paste it there. And look, the video comes up here. Now it says it can't play it now. I, I, actually, I actually haven't tried this yet. So I'm just going to go to file, preview, real-time preview, go to Chrome, Choose yes and see what happens. Yeah, the video comes up fine. I'm not going to click play because I don't want to be demonetized and all of that stuff, right? But I'm just going to resize this so it fits inside of this box so I can put my other video in, which is going to be an actual video I recorded on my PlayStation 5. It might be of GTA 5. It might be of some random game. It really doesn't matter. Again, I'm just showing you the techniques that you can use to build up your website. Mine looks horrible right now. Absolutely horrible. But that's not the point. I'm showing you all the techniques you need. So let me go back to my Dreamweaver. Let's resize this video to about, it says 560 by 315. I think mine was 1024. So that's going to be like five. Let's, let me not dis, uh, disgrace myself on camera. Divided by two. That's going to be 512. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to go back to my thing. I'm going to bring this down to, let's just say 500. 500 by... 315, I don't know, 300, 500 by 300. So now when I load this, let me save it. When I reload this on the web browser, it should be noticeably smaller, yeah? And it fits into one side of the box. As you can see, that line there goes down the middle. The video is to the left of it. So I'm gonna now insert the other video over here and make it roughly the same size. 500 by 300 seems like a decent size. So back in Dreamweaver now, and let me just show you. So this is a video I made on my PlayStation 5. It's 49.6 megabytes, so roughly 50 megabytes. So let me just play that and make sure it works. Yo, 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 people. Here I am in GTA 5's menu, the most amazing game in the entire... Yeah, the video works perfectly fine. Now, how do I insert it? I'm Again, I'm going to be using my um, tables, my boxes, whatever you want to call them. I am going to go to insert. I am going to go down to HTML. If you do plug-in for this, like we did for the audio, that will work perfectly fine. But for this one, I'm going to show you how to just do HTML5 video. Same procedure, just browse for your file. It's going to do exactly the same thing as you would for any other HTML item. So I'm going to click on HTML, or not or, um, audio, sorry, video, HTML video. I'm going to click on next because I want it to be inside of this box or this table cell here. And then from here, I can see that, oh, look, it comes up with the play stuff, but nothing has been highlighted, right? I don't know where this video is, is pointing to because it's pointing to nothing currently. So again, you're going to want to go to, I think it was window, then properties or control F3, bring up your property menu. And what you're going to want to do from here, the first thing is probably go to source and source is going to be the location of that video. So for me, I'm going to click browse and I'm just going to, Click on my video here because it's in the same folder where everything else is, just in the video section instead. I'm going to click OK. That inserts my video, but again, it doesn't show me anything. And remember I said earlier I wanted to make this video roughly 500 by 300 as well to match the other side. 
So where it says W for width, I'm going to put 500 there. And where it says height, I'm going to put 300. Right, so that matches the size of that one. I'm going to remove this text, which I had as just placeholder text where I knew where to paste stuff. Okay, what else do I need to put? Um, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, on the property section here for um, well, HTML5 video, you might do the same thing for audio. I'll check that later on. But you can actually add or remove the controls from here. You can turn on and off autoplay. Loop is this. It plays as soon as the video comes to the end. It starts playing again. And muted just obviously means there's no sound when you start playing the video automatically. So this is quite good because we don't have to then go and mess with the HTML code itself. We can do everything from here. Let me click on this one, see if it works for that one. No, it doesn't work for that one because this one is a link. So this one's slightly different. So in this video, you were shown how to insert a link from a URL, which is what I got from my um, GTA 5 website here. And you were also shown how to insert a video from your local PC. Now, this is a very bad idea because it's 50 megabytes. That's a very large video in, com in terms of website terms, okay? In terms of uploading to YouTube, that's tiny, tiny video. But again, if someone has to load your website from a mobile phone, it's going to load roughly 50 megabytes before that video loads or whilst it's playing, it's going to be loading that video. Whereas if you put a link, which is the HTML um, code I copied from YouTube, so the URL, if you do that, your website's doing nothing at all. So your website is going to be moving nice and smooth. That video might move slowly because YouTube is congested or you're having a slow data connection. However, because your website doesn't have a 50 megabyte file, for example, playing, it's going to move faster. So again, when I come to optimize, what I might do is just put that video up on YouTube instead of having it embedded in the actual website itself and just link it just like I did the previous one. So let me go to file. Let me go to uh, real-time preview, Chrome. I'm going to choose yes, I want to save. And here is everything for the content page. Now, this is a very ugly website. Again, don't judge me. It's fine. Again, I'm only showing you guys the techniques you need to make your own website look amazing. So I can click on this, which I won't do because I might get a copyright strike for that. But on this one, I made this video myself. And as you can see, it does have the play features here. So I'm going to click play. I'm going to stop speaking, click play. I'm going to click mute. I'm going to click um, enlarge video. What happens here? Playback speed. Now, I don't want to mess with any of that stuff. I am, so I'm going to click play here. Hey, yo, 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 people. Here I am in GTA 5's menu, the most amazing game in the entire world. Just a video that I want. A Unit 6 website development. Be long at all. Hopefully, you guys can hear me clearly. Hopefully, this me inserting this video makes sense to you so let me stop the recording now and jump back to my editing there you go that was the video right it was only 20 seconds but 20 seconds at 50 megabytes that's quite a large video um so now you guys know how to insert a video using a url from like youtube other websites have similar ones as, um, i think daily emotion probably has exactly the same thing where you scroll down you go to share and you can copy the url with the settings that you want this one was inserted using, so maybe I should do a video. Oh, this is the website itself. Video one, let's do from URL. Video two, from local, which just means from my local machine, from my local laptop or desktop. And that's it. That's how you do that. My website is not the most glamorous again, but again, technique, technique, technique. Um, The next page I might do is the about this page is going to be very boring because there's nothing... That's going to be standing out like videos and audio on there. So what I might do is maybe do the contact page. It won't work properly, but I'll just show you how I would set up my contact page.